Hey guys, so I'm up here at the top of Brown Mountain, my happy place, my sanctuary. And today, like every other day or every day when possible, I like to come out here and get out into the mountains, get my exercise, get my cardio. And I just, I enjoy being outdoors. It's kind of an overcast, gloomy day, but it's still a nice day. It's still beautiful outside. It's still, the weather is, it's actually kind of spring light um, in California, which we really don't have the four seasons. We don't have, we just go straight from uh, semi-winter to summer, but this is actually spring type weather and uh, it's about 60 degrees. So um, it makes it nice for the climb. You don't you don't just get sweated out and be so hot and sweaty, but you still get a nice sweat on. I mean, I like to get a sweat on. And um, and just now here comes the sun breaking through the clouds a little bit. That'll be nice. So let me show you, I've been riding, you know, I've been riding my single speed a lot. I love my new single speed. I mean, I still love my seven. My older single speed is great, but my new one, it just really, it really pops. And what I mean by that is having that dropper post, having the, the, the fork on there, that Fox 34, it's only a 120 travel, but you know, with a, with a, a single speed and a hard tail, 120, 130 travel is really all you need. And that, that, that fork is so ultra smooth. And many may ask, and, the, and there's a lot of people out there that just like the other brands of forks, you know, that like the RockShox Sid is lighter fork and it's a really nice fork. And King Creek makes a nice fork, MRP, DVO, they all make nice forks. But you know what? One thing I really like about this Fox Factory 34, it's their nicer factory one. It's not the high zoot, um, the high zoot uh, RC2, it's the Fit 4. Um, I didn't really feel like having all those extra adjustments with the with the new um, RC2, or I, I'm not exactly sure if that's what the naming convention is for that. It's something like it. it's their newer multi-adjustable um, compression and rebound. This one just is a fit for. There's just a few adjustments up here for your compression dampening, and then your rebound adjustment is down here, and that's about it. Um, you know, and you set your sack with the right air pressure. I've never had to change and add volume spacers in my forks. I'm a light guy. And I think, you know, Fox makes it for people that are around 150, 160 pounds. So it's always fit me right. I, I, it ramps up perfectly for me. I've never felt like I've needed to add more volume spacers. Um, I like to have that extra air volume and not so many spacers in there. Anyway, this bike just rides like a dream. It's heavier than my seven, obviously, because this is steel. It's, it's a five and a half pound steel frame. So it's not as light as that super light three pound titanium frame. But the buddy on this and the feel of it with the, the way the steel is, it feels really, really good. And so I really like um, having a, a metal frame, a steel frame. It just has a nice compliant feel. But you know, honestly, having huge tires like this i have these terrabelle big 2.8 and in the back i have this big maxis recon 2.6 and i have the rim packed on there and i have a huge wide 35 millimeter rim and actually it's not rim packed it's cush core but either way with wide rims and big tires 2.6 and 2.8 you know even an aluminum frame or a carbon frame is going to feel pretty supple so you know it, it it's you you make it the way you want it to feel and, and i've i've had a lot of experience building up my bikes and making them the way i want to feel so you know um it's getting out there and enjoying it I, I think what's made me stay fit all my life is i took a hobby of cycling i took a hobby of fitness and it's something i truly enjoy 
It's not a chore. It's not an obligation. It's not something that I've mandated to do. It's something I want to do. I strive to do. I'm passionate about. And that's what makes, you know, cycling for me. And, and, and that's why I have Ride for Life, Fit for Life as the name of my channel. Because it's really made me fit for life. I'm still, you know, 160. I'm like not even 160. I'm about 155 pounds. I still stay pretty lean. I still wear my my jeans from from high school. So, um, you know, I'm going to get down. It's getting a little bit cold, and I'm going to get down and enjoy my ride. I got to fix my GoPro. I don't have any live action video um, in a while, and I'll put some of that up as soon as I fix. It, it's not the GoPro. It's actually the uh, memory card. It's not reading it on my computer. So I got to figure that out. So anyway. Thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up, uh, follow, like, um, you know, and you can find me on um, on Instagram, same name, Ride for Life, the number four, Fit for Life. And um, you can find me on Strava if you're in the area and want to see how much I ride. I am the local legend, like I said before in one of my past videos, because I ride so damn much. I ride every day. So get out there, get fit. Find something you're passionate about, continue doing it, and health is wealth. So keep yourself healthy and wealthy, and I'll talk to you guys later.